Hey there, game veterans. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're rolling up our gaming sleeves and diving into the zany, colorful world of We Love Katamari Reroll plus Royal Reverie. You might know my fondness for intricate RPGs, but sometimes the most charming games are those that favor simplicity and pure, unadulterated fun. The Katamari series has been serving us just that for nearly two decades, and we love Katamari Reroll plus Royal Reverie is no exception. Now, if you're new to the Katamari world, let me break it down for you. You step into the shoes of a tiny green character known as the Prince, and your mission? Roll up as many items as you can into a massive ball, known as a Katamari. As your Katamari expands from assimilating all sorts of things, from cakes to super glue bottles, and even small children, you can roll up even larger items. It's a wonderfully satisfying process, enhanced by a ludicrous environment, beautifully updated visuals, and an eccentric soundtrack. Getting a hang of the controls might be a bit peculiar at first, but trust me, once you do, you'll find that the dual stick control scheme grants you remarkable control over your Katamari. And why is the prince so fixated on rolling up stuff, you ask? Well, a big enough Katamari can be shot into orbit to become a planet. But this time around, the series mixes things up. You're not making planets for the king of all cosmos, but rather, you're catering to fan requests, with the planets becoming a whimsical byproduct. It's absurdity at its best, and the king is a delight to interact with. Standard gameplay sees you placed in different locales such as a school or a zoo with a time limit to reach a certain size. Although you'll typically have ample time to achieve your goal, you'll be striving to set high scores and endure the king's humorous grumblings about your performance. The variety of stages is another element that pleasantly surprised me. You might find yourself lighting a campfire while dodging water and staying mobile, or bulking up a thin sumo wrestler for a match by feeding him heaps of food. The varied challenges bring a fantastic range of silly entertainment to the table. A fresh feature to this version is the Royal Reverie bit, taking you on a journey into the king's memories. These five challenging stages come with unique conditions to meet if you aim to conquer them. The increased difficulty might not be for everyone, but for Katamari veterans, it could be a welcome change of pace. What makes We Love Katamari Reroll plus Royal Reverie stand out are the delightful small details. Post-stage comparisons of your Katamari size to everyday objects like pencil sharpeners, unlocking accessories for your prints, or taking mid-level selfies for fun, it's all an embracement of delightful nonsense. There's not much to complain about in this game, except perhaps the king's tendency to cover your entire screen mid-mission for a chat. It's a minor distraction, but worth mentioning. In closing, We Love Katamari Reroll plus Royal Reverie is a delightful remaster of a game that embraces the wacky heart of the Katamari series. With a wide range of missions and the quintessential nonsensical charm of the series, it's a game that offers much fun. While the new content may not blow you away, it's still a fantastic opportunity to experience this unique game, especially if you missed out on its PS2 iteration. So, gamers, it's time to roll up and dive in. As always, happy gaming.